It's a uh, peak hatching season right now for bald eagles. The Minnesota DNR Eagle Cam just captured the first eaglet of the year over the weekend. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell explains what is next for the baby bird and how you can help others thrive. This was the moment Eagle Diet fans had been waiting for. Lots of people from all over the world are watching it. The egg in the Minnesota DNR Eagle Cam hatched on Sunday. It is exciting and it's it's harrowing because there's so many things can happen. Lori Nauman runs the Eagle Cam. This particular female in our Eagle Cam laid two eggs this year and unfortunately she might have slipped and, and punctured one of the eggs early on. But this increased the chance of survival for the eaglet, which is just 50% from hatching to flying from the nest in July. There's sibling rivalry. If there's any sort of food scarcity, they start beating each other up. It can get pretty brutal. Lori says our snowy winter hasn't hurt the eagle population. They're adapted. They're acclimated to this kind of weather, and they, they do really well. Their resiliency captured in February as a nesting mother was covered to her head in snow. Yeah, that was interesting. Dean Schaubold has watched the Eagle Cam when he's not yeah, watching yeah. the wildlife from his home. Oh, yeah, got binoculars. On White Bear Lake. Well, we see a bald eagle every once in a while. They're our national bird. That's really nice. The DNR says we can help keep the bald eagle population soaring by avoiding rodent poison and lead ammunition. We've had bald eagles run into the sides of buildings and it's usually because they have neurological damage from some sort of a toxin. For this little one, everything so far is looking up. We're, we're doing pretty well and if it makes it to fledging, all the better. In White Bear Lake, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. The Minnesota DNR Eagle Camp is in its 10th year. The female eagle there now has been nesting there for four years.